Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Hall and this is your full moon reading with spiritual guidance spanning from April 22nd through May 5th, 2016. The full moon this week is in the very intense astrological sign of Scorpio. Scorpio represents a lot of interest um, in mystical things and psychic intuition. This is some of the energy that's going to be brought out during this time. Um, it also represents the ability to bring light to darkness or to root out deeper hidden truths and bring more understanding to those sort of things. It's very determined independent and even very passionate sign. Um, so there's a lot of good things that'll be coming with this. Um, the energy of this moon cycle is going to be somewhat on the intense side also because we're seeing the pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde setting in right around the time of this full moon with Mercury retrograde happening on um, April 28th. Mercury retrograde refers to a period of time in which Mercury appears to be going backwards in the sky. It isn't really, it's just an illusion of it moving backwards. And since Mercury governs things in the world that represent vehicles of communication, um, you know, such as transportation, documents, contracts, agreements, technology, um, you know, even just dialogue between people, um, there is a belief that these, this area in life is maybe a little bit challenged or slowed down during Mercury retrograde. This is absolutely nothing to go into fear about, though. These happen, like I said, several times a year. A lot of us don't even notice it when it is happening, um, but it's a good time to just remember Remember for yourself that um, bringing in more patience and more um, active, conscious communication um, to all of the situations in your life is a very, very, very helpful t thing. Um, it's a good time to be very reflective of, of what you say and the decisions that you make um, and not to dive into anything with too much of an impulsive or reactionary, um, you know, kind of energy. Um, this is also a um, moon phase that seems to have some focus that is going to be brought on our relationships in life. Um, one thing that we're being guided to do during this time is to be very, very patient um, also in our relationships, um, to give a lot of that thoughtful, reflective, um, you know, sort of non-impulsive uh, thinking around our relationships too. So if any conflicts arise, um, steer away from any um, you know, sort of reactionary, strong, um, you know, emotions and uh, power dynamics, power struggle dynamics or anything like that, um, because you'll, you'll find that, that taking a slow approach and taking a breather before diving in with any, um, you know, strong committed choices or, um, you know, intense reactions um, proves to be very, very wise and, and helpful during this time. Um, so let's go ahead and check out what cards um, we will get for this moon cycle as well to get some further guidance. Today I am working with the Magical Mess Messages with the Fairies Oracle to Card Deck by Doreen Virtue. I thought it would be lovely to bring in some light, happy, fun fairy energy for the intense full moon that we're having. Um, so all I'm doing is just shuffling our cards and then I just go ahead and pick the first three cards that call to me as I'm shuffling. So let's go ahead and turn over the first card. Ah, the first card is the birthday card. Whenever the birthday card comes up, this is a sign that you are about to begin something brand new um, or that you're having a rebirth in your life, that this is a positive opportunity to turn over a new leaf or to create a clean slate sort of thing in your life um, and to begin that new project um, or that new idea in your life. Um, also a really great time to um, start out with a new foot in relationships, you know, creating a positive new sort of dynamic. Um, I'm also being um, given the guidance around this card um, that this is a good time to really set intentions where you're celebrating any new ideas. Um, you know, create a little ritual um, if you want to, or some prayer time around um, any new ideas or new ventures that you're being given at this time and celebrate them. Bring some joy and fun and light, um, you know, into these kinds of energies because it will prove to be um, very helpful to get these new um, ideas off the ground and new things started in your life. These are definitely positive things too, I'm hearing, that will be beginning right now. 
Ah, so the second card is the Easy Does It card. It says, we know that you're starting a lot of brand new projects and you might be really diving in deep with some intense new passionate ideas and things like that, but um, don't try too hard to control or force or push to make it happen all at once right away. Um, remember to just take very gentle, slow, patient human action steps as you go forward so as not to overwhelm yourself. Remember again that the moon energy and this just the cycle that we're having um, right now is bringing in a lot of that intensity. Um, so just be patient with yourself and make sure that you're bringing in balance in every area of your life um, and not getting overloaded anywhere. Our third and final card is the Practice, Practice, Practice card. Um, this is a really great card. Um, I like it when this comes up because it's telling us that this is a time where we are afforded a lot of positive energy around um, being productive. Um, the activities in your life um, are really helping you to move forward in a way that brings a marker of success for you. Um, that's something that I'm hearing out of this, that um, there's this there's positive growth really Really, really moving forward and any skills that you have um, that you might be applying to the new ventures in your life. Um, and also I'm hearing a message specifically for some of you that are listening um, that says with all of the stuff going on in your life, remember to carve out some of your time to practice towards the things that you're passionate about the most. So if you've got that book idea that you, you know, have maybe been putting off writing about, start doing some writing. If you're an artist or, you know, a musician or something like that, take time to practice your, your craft. Um, you know, these, the, the things that you place into your everyday life are so incredible um, in forming the overall outcome of our success on a whole um, in our journey. Our greatness really is determined by the, um, the cycles and the rhythms and the lifestyle practices that we keep all the time. So um, this is some great guidance coming in um, about how to balance all of that with everything that is coming in and um, just to get excited um, about this, the new opportunities and the new energy that are, that are coming in for us. This is going to be a great time to turn over a new leaf. Um, and the last little bit of guidance that I he I'm hearing your guides bring in with this today um, is an idea about independence. Um, I'm hearing them say that um, if you're wondering which way to sort of take some of the work that you're focusing on right now, um, if you have the option to take a little bit more of an independent path, um, make some room for that as well in your life. This is this is a really wonderful thing. Or, um, you know, if you've been focused a lot within relationships with some of the work or the efforts that you've been, you know, kind of engaged in lately, I'm hearing take a step back and get into your own independent energy because your heart has strong, very intelligent, good messages to give you when you just focus on you and you alone for a little while during this moon cycle. So best of luck in all of these um, new endeavors that are coming about and with all the new energy. Um, do let me know how things go for you. I love to keep in touch with you. Um, if you would like to keep in touch on Facebook or Twitter, I will leave my links to those in the description below. And if you enjoyed our video today, do like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and also, if you are interested in receiving your own reading or spiritual healing session, do check out my website at www.seraphim.com for more information on how to schedule one of those. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today. It's, as always, a pleasure to connect with you. And until we meet again, I am sending you my prayers and my love and know that you are so loved and so very, very blessed. Bye!